Hello, my name is Ben. I am not a great gamer. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, one true Roman, in which we play as Serene Doge Antonino II, the pathologically disliked of Venice. Uh, on second thought, maybe killing my wife was a bad idea, because a couple of events that came along with killing my wife, dishonorable and known murderer, uh, have caused a general opinion of me, because dishonorable may not be general, just within the... Uh, within the realm, but a, a general, you know, opinion uh, between me and the people that I actually care about of negative 20. And so, look at all these people who don't really like me. These these, these are the people who are supposed to be supplying me troops. So, actually, you'll notice my, uh, my troop count, my available troop count went down. If you, I have more raised troops now than um, I should be able to have at all. So, there's that. Uh, my, my vassals hate me. Now, the last couple episodes were, well, the last one was was really kind of disappointing, um, and I was I was I was very disappointed. The Basilius was pressing a claim for me. Uh, the Basilius liked me, and then either I died or he died. I don't remember. There were two deaths happened, and then all of a sudden, he's no longer pressing the claim because the war is invalidated. And then this new guy who doesn't like me, he's not going to press my claim. Hex now, so he's just pressing his own claim for Zagreb. So he's attacking the Holy Roman Emperor. We have negative war score. I actually am not worrying about that too much. We're so anyway. It's it's a, it's an ill-advised war, I would say. But you know something? I thought about it, and I'm I'm just not going to be disappointed. We're in a war that we can't possibly lose. Basically, we just have to sit on the war target until the other guys to give up. And it's a chance for us to help the true Romans to take out a piece of those other Romans. Um, and we're we're gonna have some fun with it. Now we had raised mercenaries in order to go after the papacy we're gonna help out the we're gonna help the basilius take the papacy because you know it's it's kind of a challenge um and i had i involved them in this war up here but i ended up letting them go because money i like money and I, I want some i also turned my retinue reinforcement down to uh half speed so we may actually start making money here soon we may we are currently sieging down the war target for this ill-advised war of our lieges uh, our leash will still hate us, but what are you going to do? And actually, I just realized that this, and this, and this, and this, all these counties in this area actually belong to the Kaiser. He's 50, but we, you know, if if we siege a couple of these things down, we may start sieging down his domain. For one thing, it'll go a little bit faster, because it'll just be garrison. Um, in fact, we may want to start on that fairly soon. We may need, We may even decide that we don't want some of these sieges to finish. Like perhaps this one we could give up. And then go to here and go to here. That may be what we do. So I'm reinforcing this army to my main stack. Oh, there's a six out. Oh, there's a bunch of Byzantine troops right here. That's interesting. I didn't really notice that. So this army, I mean, we have some siege progress, but gosh, it's slow. So we're going to move over to here. And then that way, these three armies will be able to reinforce each other. And that would be nice. That will be nice. The Basilius is... It, it, he should actually be able to, to pull this off. We had an issue where we couldn't actually fight this army. We'd bounce off of it and nothing would happen. Um, this guy, he is also... Uh, what's it called? He's hostile to us. He's the ally of the guy that we're attacking. We need we need this barony. We need it right here. This one. Barony of Port Bonnell. We need it. And he's allied with this county, this count, and so he's in. He's called a king, but he's not really a king. It's because he's married to the Queen of Poland, which is really, really interesting. This, I just noticed what's what's going on here. She is a ruler kid, and she was smart enough to marry this guy matrilineally. So now, in fact, her heir is also a ruler kid. So there is a ruler kid Queen of Poland with a ruler kid heir, male heir. And what's interesting is her mother was a premise lid. Um, let's see here. Her father is, in fact, he's still alive. He is a Rurikid. He is a, a, a duke. And his first wife, he has, he has had four, his first wife was just the queen of Poland. And she was actually installed by faction demand. I thought that was really interesting. You remember how Sweden actually controlled all this? Well, there were factions in this area that rose up, installed this queen of Poland, who was a premise lid. And 
she married this guy. She may have already been married to him before she became queen. Her, her the child who became queen, uh, was was of this guy's dynasty, so a Rurikid. So that's why there is now a Rurikid on the throne of Poland, which I think is really really interesting. And if you're not familiar, the Rurikids were the people who. Um, Either legend has it, or it actually happened, that they were the ones who founded Russia. They in, they invaded from uh, they invaded from Scandinavia and made Russia happen. So the Rurikids kids were sort of like the the first czars of Russian Kiev or Kievan Russia. Anyway, so that's the state of the world. I just thought that was really interesting. It is a new. I had to restart the program. So um, a strong girl that is not of my whatever is going to... She she doesn't give me opinion. Ooh, do I have any children that can give me opinion? I should think about that. I should really think about that. Uh, we will have... Adonai, the Bishop of Orderzo. You. You do this. Let me do a quick check on this. I do have children. I have this guy. Who is your, war your guardian? Cristoforo. <sighs> That's awfully nice, but... It would be awfully nice to get some opinion out of you. I don't know. I don't know. Holding into Rakiness under siege. Oh, that's the other thing. So we should actually be able to get some extra war score. That's what I was going to do. We should actually be able to get some extra war score by sending these troops, for instance, up to here. So this, there's a barony here. There's a barony here. And the barony here, all of which are worth war score. We want to get this war over. I just, I just want it over. We will not be releasing and re-raising anytime soon. Be uh, for the reasons previously mentioned that involve the fact that we, our, our vassals just don't like us very much. They just don't like us. They just don't. So, get some troops over to here, or some boats over to here. We're gonna move these guys probably up to here. Try to beat up this army a little bit, and then siege that down. What's the supply here? 29k. Okay, move in. No, I gotta watch a couple different things. Oh, Andalusian Liberation Revolt. Interesting. I wanna watch to make sure that nobody lands there that shouldn't be there. So you guys combine. You cannot get on the boat. That's fine. You will be able to soon? Maybe? Ephesus, give me some boats. That should do it. Yeah, that should do it. Yeah, it's awfully unfortunate having... Ooh, it's awfully unfortunate having uh, your vassals dislike you. So yeah, now we are sieging down, and this should go actually fairly quickly. We are sieging down the Kaiser's, uh, what's it called, domain. So that's nice. That is very nice. And we are ready to, uh, oh, these guys, oh, he's sieging this down. The, the Basilius is actually sieging this down. We'll see if he keeps doing that. But we will be in a position to reinforce if anything terrible happens up there. So that is awfully nice. Now I have two different, two different, uh, things to be looking at here, unfortunately. You, come on up here. What's supply like over here? It's pretty good, but it's going to be cold soon. Come on up to here. Oh, wow. Huh. The bis that's where the, uh, the label is. Actually, the label for the Byzantine Empire is in several places. Here, Italy, uh, was it Bavaria, North Africa twice? It's kind of funny. But there's no like big old label right here across the heartland of the Byzantine Empire. Isn't that funny? Okay. If I zoom out, I can do this. <laughs> this, Basilius, is how you win a war. You siege down the target province. And then you watch for... Uh, Four and five digit numbers. Whoa! Hey! 
There's that army. Ugh. This army that may not actually be able to... We may not actually be able to fight. What is this? This is planes. You're going to... 8 July. What happens if we split you in half? And split you in half? And have you move into there. Does that stop him? No, it doesn't. Doge Otobono of Granada has given me bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning Duke's veto of Lombardy. You know what? That's fine. You guys just mess with each other instead of me. Although at this point, if people had me assassinated, that would probably be okay. Um, tell him to stay out of factions. There really aren't any factions, and that would only make him dislike me. I don't want to arrest him, so I'll keep this information to myself. For now. Okay. Oh, I think he's gonna arrive there. Now the real question is... Will he... Will we actually fight? No, we didn't. No, okay, yeah. No war score. No prestige. No nothing. It's like... It's like it doesn't actually exist. Oh. Is Cristoforo dead? No, he's not. Ask to see if we can have this guy educate him again. Who is this? Fortunato Faliero. Hmm. Okay. Now let's get this army here. Now if these guys move, we're in trouble. Yeah, lots of little red stacks, but no big red stacks. Okay. Who's this? The wife of my lover, Katone. Wait, what? Hang on. Wait, what? Do I have a lover? Yes! Yes! Yes, I do have a lover. Um... When did this happen? When did this happen? Um, my, my lover is one of my kinsmen. I don't know how we're related. I don't really care. But, uh... Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's a thing. We're, we're not even listed as homosexual. That's interesting. Um... The wife of my lover, Katone, shocked me by asking me to my face if we're having an affair. My intrigue is so low that I can't make her feel guilty about it, which is fine. Um, you know what? I'm going to confess and promise the end of the affair, and this woman doesn't need to know. The problem is if she like goes public with it, which would be really bad. Okay, the filthy unbeliever... Sensi would not accept my sincere apology, but has chosen to denounce both me and her husband Katoni publicly as adulterers. Oh crap. This is just terrible. Yep. Known sodomite adulterer. Oh crap. Also, my former lover probably hates me too. In fact, she is now my rival. This guy is the worst. He is absolutely the worst. I hope he gets a nickname like the Sodomite or something like that. Oh god. Let's check my realm tree. Let's check my realm tree. Oh golly. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at this pile of things that people don't like. That's an additional minus 15. Oh. It would be better for this campaign if someone just assassinated my current character right now. Anyway, you, go here. Okay. Oh. None of this works if time doesn't go forward. No. Combine these troops. 
Uh, oh, okay. So he, the guy I'm fighting has called in uh, the Grand Prince of Rostov. Well, I still have to King War score, so shove it. I move my troops over to here. Hopefully, he can't see this. I don't think he can actually see what I'm doing. Which would be kind of crucial. Uh, what are you doing, Basilius? Well, he's moving large stacks deeper into what is kind of Holy Roman territory. There we go. Now let's let the um, morale get nice and high, and then we'll run into that thing. And maybe, maybe we'll get some more score out of the deal, but I don't think so. Whoa. No, that's fine. Now, move in. The real question is... Okay, that they still have a levy there, so it's going to take a good long while to siege that down, but that's fine. Holding in Istria is under siege. Oh, it's just this army moving around. Okay, let's see what this battle does. Hey, we're at least fighting. That's something. That is awfully nice. Now, they have some pretty good... Uh, pretty good... Uh, marshal of their own. Oh, hey. Ooh, shoot. Um, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna split this and move over. Uh, I don't know if I bother splitting this. Oh, no, we're not gonna split nothing. Nope, nope. So, I was, what I was noticing was this 11... 1100 stack here. This fight's not going to go well for the for the Basilius, especially since he's not... Uh... Oh no, that's actually probably going to be just fine. Um, see how low this guy's morale is. So there's that. There's 1100 troops here that could move in, but we'll see. Um, the reason I'm not going to move anything is because of this stack here. That's the stack that I need to worry about. So, Wow, their morale is strong. It's, it's basically 2 on and one and they're holding their own. Not anymore. Okay, they've broken. Okay, there we go. The fight is ours. Oh, it's 96 war score. Are you kidding me? Oh, thank God. Also, the other thing that's, that's not going well for me is I don't have very good prestige. <clears throat> I mean, it's okay, but this kind of stuff is helping me a ton. Just winning battles. It's too good. It's too good. So we're going to siege this business down. Oh, it'll be pretty quick, in fact. That's nice. Yeah, if we if we win this fight, this may be under war score. No, it's 98 war score. That's fine. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of troops here. Okay. A bunch of Basilius troops, so that's good. And we're about to start winning... Um, oh, did he actually siege down the trade post of Aquilia? Wow, good work. Oh, that's the Kaiser. The Kaiser did that, not the stupid Grandmaster, or whatever his name is. Uh, we are going to... I think Treviso is under siege, whatever. We are going to win another battle, finish a couple sieges, we'll start getting- oh, no, no, we're not gonna win another battle. We're not gonna- we're not gonna fight anymore. Offer peace. Thank you. Okay. We now only need one more war. We actually only need one more war. We need to go after the Pope. We're getting money. Yes, we are. Okay. We could possibly even do this during this war. If we siege a couple things down and then get out of the war, or like get our troops out of here, we may be able to release re-raise, or release, declare war, re-raise, and just take out the Pope while the the war is going on with the uh, with the Kaiser, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Oh, I never I never dropped you guys. Why don't you just come on over here and I'll pick these troops up and I'll bring these troops over here. Holding a troll is under siege. Oh. 
Are you really going to try to attack that? You know, you know Tarola's mountains, right? You do know that, right? Or, see here, 26 December, told this, yeah, you're going to attack him into the mountains with roughly equal numbers. Did anybody tell you that was a bad idea? Because that's a bad idea. Oh well. We'll get taking war score here in a second. Actually, we'll not be taking war score. We've been attacked in the Stuhl of Isenberg. Oh, really? You you took that fight? Hmm. Hmm. Cut this in half. It's roughly equal. We should. It's actually in our favor. We should be able to just take this, but we'll we'll throw a little bit more onto the fire and see what happens. That'll mean one more siege tick before that siege goes, but that's okay. And now, let's bring these guys all over here. Ooh, maybe not there. Well, it's 16 troops. And by 16 troops, I mean 16. Not 16,000, not 1,600, 16. Siege of Zagreb. Okay, now, now, now we have positive war score. Excellent. I guess we go to... What, Eisenberg? Yeah, maybe we go to Eisenberg with this this pile here. Yeah, I think we do that. Oh, now you go here too. Ah, we got we won a battle that's worth uh, seventy four prestige. Ooh, hey, who's this? Um. Interesting. Gottfried von Dithmarschen. Who's your leash? Oh, it's just the Kaiser. Can I ransom you for... No. Uh, it will cost me 20 piety, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. We'll just keep him until somebody feels like paying me. So don't do this. You split up. Little little, little guy, go to Fünfkirchen. Fünf there we go. Evidently, there are five churches there. I don't know why that's a thing, but it's a thing. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I want to send this troop to uh, out of Zagreb. I think I want to continue to... Um, I know, I, you practically to Eisenberg, but I think I want to continue to defend that. There we go. Daughter was born to Alcide, named Paula. You keep having strong daughters. Thanks. Doesn't actually do me any good. There we go. Now, Fünfkirchen is not going to be too slow either. Oh wow, 26%. What is what is the Kaiser doing? Or what is the uh, the Basilius doing? He's uh, he's kind of taking it to these guys pretty well. Salzburg's under siege. We could actually go deal with that. Peasants have risen up in York. Yep, <laughs> that's going to happen. Uh, dear Kaiser, there's very little you can do about this. There's very little you can do about this. What kind of thing is it? Yorkist peasant. It's just a, a peasant rebellion. They just don't like something. I don't know. Peasants. Filthy peasants. I'm going to say Galen is under siege. Yep. Battle of Kirk. Where was that? Oh, yeah, there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Should I start sieging down Carrington? Maybe Varazdin. There we go. No. Maybe Eisenberg. Yeah. Look at that. We'll just siege down everything that the uh, the Kaiser owns. That'll be great. And then, once this war is over, he's going to be f dealing with all kinds of issues. Um, rebellion issues. Because he won't have a you won't have much of a uh, no, domain. So, there's that. Hmm. I'm tempted to go attack this, but it, he he can get reinforcements there. There's a big battle going on here that the Basilius is just, he's just going to lose it. Nothing you can do about that. Actually, hang on. You know, I'm going to take these guys. I'll take both of these. This siege just started. It's not a big deal. Actually, 12.4%. Uh, we, well, yeah. 
we can get it. We can we can finish that. It's fine. In fact, same with Fimfkirken. How fast is this one? 6.1%. That's awfully quick. I might as well just stick with it. Eek. Ooh. Ooh. Attrition. Rough. Okay. What is supply? Supply is good. Go here. Um, oh, someone wants to... Someone seeks to fabricate a claim on the most serene Republic of Venice. Well, there's not much you can do about it once that happens. Well, there is something you can do. This guy doesn't like me. I don't want to piss, piss him off even more. I wish I had known that I had a... Always check to see if you have a lover. Always check. Lingen Kempton is under siege. Where is that? Oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Basilius just lost a couple battles. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, Altabono the Spider now likes me by slightly... He now dislikes me by slightly less. How's that? Can I ask him to end the plot? Oh, he would. End the plot. Troth can marry. Sure, thank you. Uh, she's fine. Which is not bad, actually. She will do just fine. Um, Antonio... Whew. Oh, man. You're useless. All you really do is get us um, trade post limit and not even enough to be worth it. So... Blah. Tiny little battle. Holding in Malaga's under siege. That's in Spain. I know what's doing that. Okay, we're gonna engage this army. Actually, what we want to make sure of is that the army of the Byzantine Emperor is gonna arrive there first. He will arrive there on 31st of May. We will arrive there on the 24th of May. So we actually want to delay. Um... Okay, so that one, that guy can go in. This guy will, will walk into Steiermark. So what, what will happen is that this will actually be the Basilius' battle, but we are going to help it a ton. So he'll get the war score for it. We'll get a little bit, bit of prestige, but he'll get most of the prestige, um, which is fine. We want, we want this guy to win this war. And actually, we want him to have a bunch of prestige as well, because he, in order to form the Roman Empire, you need like 3,000 prestige. And this our... What does he even have? He, he's a fairly new Basilius. What does he even have? He has 1,100, but that's a long way from 3,000. So, Lucia Faliero needs a husband. You are a dutiful cleric. Good work. Kind of. Um, you know what? Ooh, the Duke of Moray. Go. Go and do that. Are we at war with the Duke of Moray? Is this Moray? No, where's Moray? Where is Moray? Hmm. Where is Moray? Oh, this is Moray. So, who's the Duke of Moray? Well, okay. When he comes to me and says, "Yeah, you can do that," I'll I'll have to find out where the heck he is, because I'm not entirely certain. Okay, so... Okay. Oh, he's not even going in. Well, fine, we're just gonna have to kill this guy instead. Get moron. What a maroon. Right, right. Okay, we have engaged battle. Oh, wow. Yeah, 27,000 on 5,000? They may have, what, hills? Yeah, this is hills. We'll still win. It's fine. It's fine. Holding in Granada's under siege. Yeah, that's that Spanish thing. So we got 117 prestige. So we're, we're going up in prestige pretty quickly. Who are you? 
Duke Hartmann of Meissen. He's German and Catholic. He certainly looks Mongol to me. Of course, he had, like, yeah, he had a Mongol mother. Yep. But uh, that's kind of the way it works in this region these days. Uh, let's see. You have three marshal. Can you pay me? Ransom prisoner, 145 gold. Yes, excellent. Okay, so we just uh, decimated these... Well, we did worse than decimated these these troops here, so... um. We made the Basilius' job just a little bit easier. Um, we won a battle. It doesn't actually do any, give us any war score, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, on that note, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna come back a little later and call this an episode. And yeah, I think that'll be a good, a good thing. So I did enjoy myself. Um, we we can do this. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be it'll be just fine. Um, we're just helping our Basilius out, doing his Basilius silly thing, and. Um, yeah, I'll just be happy with it, and we will finish this playthrough someday. So I did enjoy myself. I do hope you enjoyed yourself as well. And I do look forward to seeing you next time.